Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. This is such an important conversation, and we are thrilled that you're with us for our community action rally tonight for Welcome Home OC. So again, thank you. We need you, and we're delighted you're here to learn about what we need. And so today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a program that United Way leads, United 10 Homelessness, and a specific effort called Welcome Home OC. And for those I haven't met, my name is Sue Parks. I'm the CEO here at Orange County United Way. And again, we're so appreciative of this amazing community that we're in, but we know we can do more together. And that's where you come in. Um, Welcome Home OC is a program where we work with the housing authorities in Orange County. They issue vouchers to folks, our homeless neighbors, and then we match those um, folks with vouchers to properties here in Orange County. And it's an amazing, successful effort. And it is great business for the property owner, the landlord, as well as it is in, for our community because it's helping one of our homeless neighbors find a place that they can call home. So how wonderful is that? This program is very successful. There are benefits for the property owner and we'll get to those um, later in the program. We'll answer any questions. But it's, again, good for our community and certainly good um, to help people, especially this time of year. So again, thank you for learning about it. When I say successful, it is considered a HUD best practice. And we've ended homelessness in just three years for 538 people here in Orange County. We have a huge opportunity, an extraordinary opportunity, Orange County, to do more together because of an influx of vouchers into Orange County like we've never seen before. And to talk about this opportunity with me and to make sure you understand how incredible this moment is in time here in Orange County, I'd like to introduce Tim Shaw. Tim is the chair of the Orange County Continuum of Care Board, a dear friend of ours, a dear friend of this community. And Tim, so great to see you this evening. Thank you for joining. Well, thank you for having me, Sue, and thank you to United Way. Um, I, I can't say enough about the Welcome Home OC program um, and all the work that United Way is doing under United End Homelessness is, is really amazing. I've been involved with United Way for so many years, and to see United Way step into this leadership role has been really gratifying. That is so great, Tim. Okay, so I talked about this surge of vouchers coming into Orange County. Can you give a little bit more about the meaning of this? What does that feel like for Orange County and why there's this urgency as I'm sharing about it tonight? Yeah, this is, as you said, this is an unprecedented opportunity uh, for Orange County. Um, thanks to the American Rescue Plan Act, we received in Orange County the, the largest single allocation of these housing vouchers that we've ever gotten at one time. 1,035 new vouchers are available to be leased up immediately here in Orange County. These are all controlled through the four housing authorities, Orange County, Santa Ana, Garden Grove, and Anaheim. Um, my, the organization that I currently chair, the Orange County Continuum of Care Board, had the responsibility of prioritizing, working with the housing authorities to prioritize to make sure that these vouchers got to the folks who were most in need of housing. Um, I just got a report today at our Continuum of Care Board meeting that of those 1,035 new vouchers, we've leased only 58 of those because we need rental property owners to partner with us to do it. So if you think about the, the opportunity, Sue, that this provides, right now today, we could permanently end homelessness for around 1,000 people. And that includes families, veterans, elderly people, people with disabilities. These vouchers, once they're leased, could completely end veteran homelessness in Orange County, nearly wipe out the waiting list for vouchers in the family coordinated entry system. Those are families experiencing homelessness. This would be men, women, and children that will likely never be homeless again. Um, and the rental property owners who step up now, the donors who support Welcome Home OC, they're the ones who will be heroes if we're able to lease these um, 1,035 vouchers up quickly. I love that, the absolute heroes, because again, this extraordinary opportunity for us to end homelessness. And just um, through the Welcome Home OC alone, we have a goal, we need a thousand units by the end of May 
to make this happen. And again, as a community, we can do this. We absolutely know we can do this. Even though we know markets are tight, there are close to, I think, 500,000 rental units here in Orange County. And again, if everyone that has rental probably thought of one unit, two units, or whatever they could put in this program, we can do it. And it's, again, this amazing opportunity. So Tim, as chair of the Continuum of Care Board here in Orange County, can you share a little bit of your perspective of Welcome Home OC and the work we're doing and how it fits in the broader effort to end homelessness here in Orange County? Yeah, so if, if we're gonna end homelessness, we have to use every tool at our disposal. That means that the effort has to involve all sectors, cities, the county, the Continuum of Care Board, nonprofits, housing developers, both profit, for-profit and nonprofit, private philanthropy, social enterprises, businesses, and rental property owners. Um, part of the difficulty though, with most of those avenues of engagement is the length of time it takes to entitle new construction. So building new units. It can take years for viable projects to find land, secure capital, satisfy permitting requirements, and unfortunately overcome community opposition. But programs like Welcome Home OC um, and the rental property owners who are part of it are such a critical link in the chain of solutions because they can end someone's homelessness right now without building a unit of new housing, simply by quickly leasing to people who have these housing vouchers and taking advantage of the incentives provided to those who do so. So doing that requires no new capital, no permits, no identification of new land. And importantly, it helps us avoid the community opposition that so often derails or delays so many new developments. So let me provide a little contrast for you, Sue, to help people think about this and why this is so important. If you contrast what Welcome Home OC is doing with efforts like Project Home Key, this is a state program that provides funds to cities and counties to convert dilapidated motels, hotels, and other properties into permanent supportive housing to house um, people experiencing homelessness. As fast as we are able to expedite those projects, and kudos to the city of Stanton and Jamboree Housing Corporation for their incredible pace on the first two of these projects this past year, we're still looking at years before those units are ready to be occupied permanently. In fact, just this morning, the COC board allocated over $2 million to a new project home key in um, Anaheim, but it's not projected to be occupied as permanent housing until 2025. Welcome Home OC cuts through all of that. We have no such delays with the Welcome Home OC program. So you could see why it's such an important component of the entire effort and homelessness. Oh, Tim, thank you for sharing that with everybody. And once again, this program is proven. If there, if the landlords out there, property and are listening to this, zero evictions, 100% rents paid, a number of benefits for them, plus the fact that besides it being good business, it feels good because we can do something as a community together. But even if you're not a property owner listening to this, you can help us with this. And we're going to go through some of the the ways to do that. But I do appreciate, Tim, you contrast. We need everything in Orange County. We need the motels converted. We need new builds to come in the community. But we need people now because we can end homelessness today for so many. When I say today, between now and May, there's this incredible opportunity and we want to utilize every voucher. So thank you, Tim. Tim's an amazing partner. We are so fortunate to have him as part of our community. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a challenge out to all of you listening tonight. And again, there's a role for all of us to play. And I know I personally am gonna step up and I'm gonna ask each and every one of you to step up and help too. Here, so here's the first challenge, help spread the word about Welcome Home OC. So it is hard sometimes right now because there's so many ways people get messages. You know, And it's not like there's just a certain amount of media that we all watch, it's scattered all over. So we need to get the word out because many, many property owners who want to participate, who would participate, just don't know. So we need help. We need your help with sharing um, a real actual flyer. Yes, posting it on a community um, bulletin board in your local coffee shop, in a grocery store, um, doing it online, posting on your church uh, board, wherever you can think of to help us spread the word. So my first question to all of you is can you commit to just spreading the word and posting one flyer, just one flyer out there? And I'd love for you to use the chat and let us know if you commit to just 
doing one flyer, again, sharing it on a, on a, a spread through, um, you know, your social media or posting it in real life. Oh, this is great. I see people saying yes, yes, I love this. So thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Jennifer. Who else is out there who want to, who will commit to doing one flyer? And I hear, oh, Heidi, thank you. She just wants to do more. So any of you out there, I know I'm gonna commit. So I have commit, Maria G's committing, Allison's committing, Diana's committing. I love this, I love this. This is all so important in terms of spreading the word. So how many of you out there will do more than one? We'll spread the word um, to, um, you know, multiple places, maybe taking some of the time over the holiday that you might have time off and just thinking about ways that you can float this. Okay, Crystal, yes. And Jeff, yes, I love this. I love this. Thank you. Jeff will do several. So thank you all. Um, and so if you want to share anything more in terms of, um, say, um, if you want to share where you're, you're sharing them, if you want to spread the, if anybody want to say what part of the county are you going to help with? Are you going to help um, in South County or North County? Anything like that you want to put into the chat by city. But I love that so many of you agreed. Oh, um, Bill is going to, do, oh, Bill Seal Beach, that apartments, Jeanette's in Costa Mesa. I'm going to handle data point. I promise I'll do that. So thank you all for joining in and spreading the word and getting this out and ask your friends and, and family to do that as well. So we'll get back to more opportunities for you to help. But next, um, we need to talk to our rental property um, owners and managers and learn their perspective in terms of what's going on. So now it's my great pleasure to introduce Asia Pham. Asia is vice president of Schroeder Management Company and it wants to get a dear friend. And James Warman, president of FDC Management Inc., a uh, great supporter. We so delighted to have both of you join us today for this community action. You're feeling the energy, but we want to hear from yourselves. So what part do rental property providers play in ending homelessness? And how do you want to be part of these conversations? And maybe Asia, I'll start with you and then we'll go to James. Well, thank you, Sue. You know, uh, from the very beginning, uh, Ernie Schroeder and myself, we were a part of um, the leadership group to help develop the Welcome Home OC. And as a property owner, I think that was a very important piece because we got to share what we were looking for as an owner. You know, uh, you can bring up programs and you can impose it upon owners, but to hear from an owner's perspective, I think that was a big piece. And so I was able to share that as an owner, we want this, this, and this. And the biggest part of this was the case management. That was my really biggest sell uh, to this piece because in order for this to work, uh, case management has to be a big part of the solution. Yes, money has to support it. Yes, we need the people to support it, but to really help advance this program, uh, case management um, was had to be a big part. And I'm so happy that United Way, by the way, the staff at United Way is great. All of the people I've worked with, have interacted with, has been not only very professional, but they have a heart that really loves uh, what they do. And that is huge because without that, I don't think you can really make this program successful. But getting back to case management, United Way has not only been a great part of helping uh, landlords feel very comfortable with uh, participating, but if there are any issues that may arise, and as someone working in this industry for 23 years, we see a lot of different things, whether it be people um, um, on vouchers or just conventional, um, I guess you call them residents. Um, we have different things that come up, but United Way and the case management has been a big key that has really helped advance this program. We have good, good residents that come in. We have good um, support that comes in, as well as all the financial. We've, we don't lose a penny, really, um, on this program. We've actually have 
um, filled a lot of our vacancies with good people that have come in um, to rent at our apartments. And United Way has played a big part in helping to be that piece to facilitate the landlord, ourselves, and the residents that come in. So um, really enjoyed working um, not only from the beginning to help this program, but as a uh, landlord that has been a, a big participant in this program. I think we've had now like about 100 units. You with do. Welcome Home. Asia, you You've been amazing, amazing. And from the very beginning, and again, I think the, the key, like you said, you, you as, a, as a property owner, property management, helped us design this program, you know, making sure that it, it fit the need of the owner. So thank you so much. I'm going to ask James the same question. Um, what part do rental property managers play and kind of maybe, maybe share a little bit of your experience as well? That'd be great. James, you're, you're muted. I started with subsidized housing over 30 years ago, and we ran, we ran projects, that is buildings that were committed to Section 8 in part or in whole. And there's a, a flaw there that I never liked, which is it segregates a chunk of society and puts um, a bunch of people living next door to each other who in some cases are not great role models for the kids in the house next door. <laughs> and, and so these kids grow up being surrounded by people um, and that, that aren't modeling um, opportunity or education or connections. And, and um, so back then we wanted to get out of those projects, out of those contracts with the, with the federal government as quick as we could. Then section eight, that's been around forever where you have these um, uh, voucher-based programs that can go to any landlord. If you want an idea of how the Welcome Home OC as an interface improves on that, it's really easy. Just look at a company like mine, and I bet Lake Schroeder's too, if you get out of Orange County and ask what's the participation rate of that landlord with Section 8, uh, in my case, I can tell you it's negligible. Um, but within Orange County, um, I have standing orders out to everyone in the company. If Welcome Home OC is involved, we're in. Um, if I have an apartment and if rent is available near our market price, which is a real challenge at the moment, um, then we're in. And our experience has been great, um, primarily, I think, because of the wraparound services Welcome Home OC offers, where they, they support the household, whereas the Section 8 program doesn't support anybody. The Section 8 program is just a machine. It's just a bureaucratic machine. It's neither good nor bad. It's not a particularly efficient. And the Welcome Home OC takes a lot of that pain away. So both um, person to person helping us uh, figure out what the process is and getting people set up, but um, also uh, financially um, by filling in a lot of the blanks. For instance, if you, set, if you want to accept a voucher, that's fine, but the process is long and now you're holding that apartment vacant. And, and even if you're willing to accept the rent, are you willing to go five, six weeks without rent? Um, no, I mean, that's not financial good sense. So I'm in this partly because Welcome Home OC makes it possible for, for, uh, to meet my business goals. But what's my motivation to be in it? It's mostly personal. I, I think we all have a responsibility, um, a responsibility as a member of both the community, but also as uh, members of the Human Being Club. Even if you're a landlord, you're a member of the Human Being Club. And, um, and, and I think we have a responsibility to help each other that way. Uh, our industry has a responsibility, but I'll tell you another little incentive. Our industry also has a PR issue in that there's a housing shortage. When there's a shortage of anything, the price of that thing goes up. Everybody blames the person selling or renting that thing. The real problem is the shortage of the housing, but that's the face of the houses. Um, and so I think whatever we can do to participate in something like this um, helps to improve our professional image. And then sometimes, depending on where we are in the market, there is a literal profit incentive to do it. Um, so, Today is, I mean, literally today is not the best day for that argument. Um, 
because we're at a peak of demand. The imbalance between available housing and demand is just off the chart. But that will ebb and flow. Right, right. So I so appreciate what you're saying. And so I'm just going to say for tonight, you all are so incredible. Maybe in two minutes, I'm going to go back to, to Asia. If you could share, if you were talking to the, all the people watching tonight, and they're going to be watching the recording to say, what would you say to property owners? Like, help us say, what do you say to a property owner that will get their attention to want to learn more about our program? Any advice of how do we better, if you would, sell this program to other property owners here in Orange County? Um, well, like I said, I think SMC, Shorter Management, has been, has given about 100 units to the Welcome Home OC. If you want to know the experience and if you are weary of it and are afraid, I'm always open to have a phone call. So you can call me and say, hey, Asia, what's your experience? I, I hear about this program, but you've been in that uh, program for ever since it started. What is your experience? Can you give me any direction? I'd be more than happy to take that call uh, if a landlord is on that edge of not knowing what they may want to do. So that's one thing I would say. The other thing is, what do you have to lose? There is no money that you're going to lose. You're actually going to gain money. There is no nothing that you're going to lose in terms of, um, is this good for me or not? No, you don't lose on that part as well. And so, and also you're doing something that's really positive. You're helping Orange County in its homeless uh, homelessness program. You're, you're, we want to see less people off the streets. That's what we're doing. We're landlords. We provide housing. If we can do that and provide housing for people, no matter who they are, what, what do we have to lose? So there's no money that we're losing and there's nothing that we're losing in terms of how can I do this? Because United Way has the staff that will support and will assist as well as um, if they need any recommendations, they can always call me. I love I don't that. Know if I, so thank, yeah. yeah, so thank you. Thank you um, for always being willing to be a reference and the business side, that's good business, but also good for humanity. How good is that? What's that amazing? It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, James, what else do we want to share? What else would, uh, again, any advice for everybody out there that, might know somebody that owns uh, apartments, um, anything else that we haven't touched on that you would say, this would be a really compelling way to get their interest and tell them to jump in. Well, I would start the conversation by not opening with, they have a voucher. Um, <laughs> because even if landlords have never been involved in Section 8, they've talked to other landlords who have. And Section 8, just, just the naked standalone Section 8 program is a slice of the Welcome Home OC program. It is, it is the largest financial slice, I'm assuming, um, in, in paying the rent, but um, it is such a small piece. So if you're gonna pitch this to anybody, you gotta pitch it as the Welcome Home OC program and, and get around to the financing end of it a little later, because otherwise you're gonna be fighting this battle of saying, okay, it's section eight, but, um, you know, I think I would start by saying, hey, it's better than Section 8 because it does all these great things. Among, besides all the coaching, there's also screening that landlords can't do themselves. So there is screening where you're looking for people who, to participate in your program who are most likely to self-improve, who are most likely to pull themselves up through the program. And, and Section 8 by itself doesn't do any of that. Um, so I, I, I would not lead by saying it's Section 8 plus. I would, lead, I would start by saying it's Welcome Home OC, and if you want to know how it works, it does this, 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 and it gets funding through Section 8. Um, but I really feel like this is such a complicated and unexpected message that it can best be done one-on-one. -on -one. I, I, I think it takes two minutes saying to somebody, that, hey, you're doing great as a landlord. And by the way, if you own property, you're doing great as a landlord right now. Um, and um, this is your chance um, to make things better. Or how about this argument? Hey, 
Is your property worth more because of the guy sleeping behind the dumpster? If it's not, then maybe if you help that guy or, the, or, or his buddy find housing, your property value will go up. Um, and there you go. We're, we're back into the, to the loop of promoting you purely for financial reasons. If I can't get to your heart, I can, I can get to your pocketbook. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely a program good for your head and good for your heart. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, again, that that win-win. But I really, really appreciate you both stepping forward and sharing it from a perspective of a property owner, a property manager of how to get involved and what would you encourage. So good guidance for all of us. And thank you again for being such amazing partners. Thank you for being willing to give us references designing the program and we're continually to um, learn how we can even do more together. So again, thank you so much to Asia and James, big round of applause. And we are gonna go to our second challenge of the evening. And our second challenge is um, you probably know people who have properties. You probably um, know people, maybe you rent and you really like your landlord and you think that they might be interested in this program, or you have a friend, or you, again, you go, you belong to a club, a, a organization, a church where you know some of the members are landlords and have property and own property. Um, please recommend a great property owner to us. And so how many of you could say, I will recommend one property owner to work with us. I'm gonna like make that connection to say, um, okay, you've already put up some flyers, so that's great. But now I'm gonna make an introduction. So how many can make out there will commit to making one introduction to somebody that they know owns rental properties? And again, it's up to that person if they make their mind to say yes or no about the program, but you can make that connection. Anybody out there? Okay. All right. Diana's in. Diana, you're awesome. Thank you so much for volunteering. Um, I know there's some others out there that are going to say yes. Jeanette is going to talk to her landlord. Jeanette, thank you. That is just awesome. We appreciate that. Um, anybody else? Bill's working on it right now. So he's just not even waiting around. Bill's taking it on. So thank you, Bill. Appreciate that. Um, Heidi is going to put her feelers out. That's all we can ask, right? Is to use this as a conversation. I mean, many of us are starting to go back to holiday parties. If somebody says, what are you doing? What's going on? What a wonderful way to talk about making a home for somebody for the holidays and making it a literal fact true that somebody's going to get a home for the holidays. Wouldn't that be a wonderful holiday? conversation to have with folks and maybe introduce them to this program. Um, Allison is going to talk to, I believe, her landlord, somebody she knows. So thank you, Allison. I hope I didn't miss anybody here. Um, several people are going to talk um, to their landlords. That's great. So um, Heidi, are you going to ask, do a poll now for us? Or, excuse me, Addie? Are you going to do a poll? And all right. So right now, please take this poll. Forty-five seconds left. This on this segment, but anyway. So please take the poll, and um, I can't vote, but I'm going to say yes, I do too. Just so you know. I'm going to add my name there. Okay, we're good to move on. So thank you for that. Um, thank you all. Anybody else, anything they want to share about introductions that they're going to help us with? All right. I can't thank you enough, everybody out there that said that you're going to make some of those introductions. That's just terrific. And um, if you want to connect us to these great people that you know, or you're going to go out and talk about it with your circles and friends. You're going to talk about it at holiday parties, at dinner, and share it with everybody. You can um, recommend them to send their information, or you can connect us with them. But you can go to welcomehomeoc at unitedwayoc.org. So it's a very simple email address, welcomehomeoc at unitedwayoc.org and our team will follow up immediately. We wanna make those connections 
And again, please, please help us spread the word. So I'm um, very excited. You're getting seen some um, up of the upcoming workshops that we're going to be talking about this program and uh, very excited about that. So now we're going to talk a little bit about why this is so important. I mean, we've talked about it from the county perspective, from the community perspective, you heard from the property owners. But at the end of the day, we're helping people, right? We're helping people that something happened in their lives. It's not um, us to say what happened and why it happened. We, they need our help. And as a community, compassion and kindness reigns, and it reigns more than ever this time of year when people really need to uh, a place to call home. So um, we know that the only way to end homelessness is a home. A shelter doesn't end homelessness. And we're gonna watch a video and hear from people whose homelessness has ended. So take it away. Having a place to call mine that I feel safe in on earth is awesome. So yeah, it changed everything. I am delighted and happy. And when I got the keys to my place, I cried tears of joy. My son, my nine-year-old was uh, just say, Mom, my heart is worn. And I know he means that he's happy. Happy. It's, a, it's a best, the best feeling is just to have a hope for your family. A roof over our head. I've got stability. Um, I've got integrity because I pay my rent, I pay my bills. I think ultimately it gives me a sense of dignity to, to be able to have my own home. So that video was from last month's Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. And we are so appreciative of those kind people that gave their time and were willing to tell their stories um, and share what it was like, the difference having a homemade in their lives. And I know, I mean, every time we see it, we get a bit teary, but we just, at the end of the day, this is about people. It's about people helping people. And we want to make sure you knew what a difference it made in the lives of those that we've been able to house. And again, we want to end homelessness for another thousand people by mid next year, and we need your help to do this. And I know as a community, we can. Um, so especially now, I keep thinking about, like think about yesterday, the rain and the wind, this is the time of year. Let's give up our hearts, let's make those introductions, let's bring more properties into this program and do what's good for business, but good for the heart and good for humanity. So to learn more about this program, I want to make sure that you know how important it is. And we're going to um, give another challenge. And this is for those of you that would commit to finding one unit out there. And if you think about this, you're walking the neighborhood, you're driving your neighborhood, you see that for rent sign, you see a sign come up, you see the flags out where it's saying there's property available. We need connections to those units all over the county. And you're who better but people that are out and about in the community to feed us information about apartments as they become available so we can reach out and see if they might be interested in participating um, in this. So how many of you are willing to help us go out and find places in your neighborhood? Again, I walk a lot and when I'm not working and I see signs going up. So yes, I'm gonna be um, jotting those down, taking a little photo. Allison's definitely, and she's gonna be scouring and looking where she sees a for rent sign. There's a map going up. If you can tell us in uh, the chat box what city you're in and what city you're willing to help us identify units in, that would be great. Um, so, oh gosh, Jeanette and Jeff are in as well. Um, Jeanette's walking Costa Mesa. She's going to keep her eyes out. Um, again, everybody, if you look at that county, we have 34 cities in Orange County, everyone. And we need your help in terms of finding those folks. So um, thank you for 
um, sharing that you're in. Oh my gosh, I see Orange, I see Irvine, I see Jeff saying Irvine, Costa Mesa, Denise, Orange, Newport, and Huntington Beach. That's just fantastic. Um, Jeanette, Newport. This is great. This is great. I know Bill is in, I believe Bill is Dana Point. I'm South County too. I'll keep an eye out. Um, I see Amanda saying Mission Viejo. That's great. All over the county, all over the county. And think about what James said. This is really power in what we do in these scattered apartments all over because people are surrounded by people who are getting on with their lives. And again, zero evictions. 95% of the people we've housed have staved house. Look at the hearts going on. These are all places where you said that you're happy to help. Oh, I see um, Samantha saying San Juan Capistrano. Thank you. Um, we're getting more and more hearts all over, all over the page, which is really, really great. Um, is there anybody want to commit to more than one? Anybody want to share anything else that they're going to do? Um, please put it in the chat session. Any other challenges? But I love this, and our team will be following up. Uh, Diana has family in Fullerton. She's going to have them look too. What a great way to spread the wealth, right, Diana? Get your whole family out doing this, no matter where they are in the county. What a wonderful opportunity um, to do something that's, again, good for the property owner, good for um, our community. And um, it's just it's just good. So anyway, I see units all over the place. Um, please, 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 everyone spread the word. And again, if you have the opportunity, it might be in a club, it might be in um, the faith organization you're part of, your neighborhood, um, your, your neighborhood um, get togethers is spread the word and see where else that we can help get more people aware of Welcome Host OMOSI and the difference it makes. But um, so we'll get more information and our team can help in terms of price ranges and all that. But the person who really knows how this program works is Amanda Grill. So I'd like to bring Amanda Grill up. Um, Amanda is our property or our welcome home OC property engagement manager. I hope that fits on your business card, Amanda. That's a Two long lines. time. Two lines. <laughs> and, um, and just say, tell us how easy it is to share the word about um, places and what people can do when they see something that is for lease. Yes, absolutely. So thank you, everyone. This so warms my heart. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate you stepping up and, and helping us out with identifying these rentals. As you heard earlier, there's, um, it's a tight market out there. Um, this is an industry where there are lots of just um, people who own one unit or people who own five units. And um, so we really need all of your uh, feet on the ground, eyes, on the, eyes out on the, on the road, walking around um, in your communities and helping us to identify these locations. So I saw in the chat, there were some questions about what exactly we're looking for. I am here to answer that question for you. Um, we are really looking for anything and anywhere. Um, so La Abra to Seal Beach, down to San Clemente and Rancho Santa Margarita, the whole county um, is, we have clients who are interested in all of those locations. It can be an apartment, it can be a condo, it can be a single family home, it could be a granny flat or an ADU in the backyard. Um, as long as it's a residence, that will work for our clients that are looking for housing. Um, that means a big apartment complex or just a standalone resident residence or a converted interior. All of those are great options that we'd be happy to talk to those property owners about or and to give them a call. Um, it can be an affordable community. It can be a 55 plus community. It can be a 62 plus community. Um, and really, really, truly anything from studios to six bedrooms will fill a need for somebody that we have here at Welcome Home OC. Now, our biggest need is for one bedroom. So that is 85% of the vouchers that we work with. Um, second largest is two bedrooms, that's 11% of the vouchers, so we really are always in need of one bedrooms, especially those that are downstairs, but an upstairs unit is still going to meet in someone's homelessness. Um, our top five requested cities are Anaheim, Costa Mesa, Huntington Beach, Irvine, and Santa Ana, um, and then we have 15 cities in South County. The top, uh, top ones there are San Clemente, Newport Beach, Tustin, and Dana Point, and I think I saw almost every single one of those on the list for people that were willing to go out and find units. So thank you so much. That's exactly where we need to be looking. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about what to do once you find one of these units. And again, it can be studio to six bedroom um, and anywhere in the county. So really anything that you find, um, how you submit that. So there's really two options. You can submit a form online. We have that short code there. So go ahead and grab that out of chat. Bookmark it if you are on your computer computer um, that has an embedded web form on the page where you can fill out some really quick information 
name, contact information, and address so that we can start making those follow-up calls. Um, you also have the option to text us the information if that is easier as well. Um, so you can snap a photo of a sign. I know I used to live in San Clemente and there were always signs on people's porches or in their front yards. Um, and so the easiest thing in that case is just to take a picture and text it to us. You can text it to 949-669-4435. Um, and I want everybody who is, is here joined with us, please take out your phone right now and go ahead and put that number in. Save it however you want. Um, it can be Welcome Home OC Rental Line, it can be United in Homelessness, however you know us, however you came to us today, please just save that number into your phone um, so that you have it ready whenever you're out there and you see a unit because you never know if you are going to be at the grocery store or a coffee shop or on Facebook and where you're going to see a, uh, a rental advertised. Um, I, so those are the two best ways to submit the form. That uh, website, that Bitly Fine Rentals website, is actually is also where you would be able to download the flyer as well as the email address for how to recommend a property provider to us. So every challenge, all of the steps that you can do to support Welcome Home OC, they're all right there on that same form or on that same website. Um, and so that is that is how you make the contributions. Um, thank you so much, everyone. I we really really appreciate. Uh, I am part of the property engagement team here for Welcome Home OC. Our job is to identify recruit and support the property providers who are coming into our network. And um, we so appreciate your help in finding more people for us to spread the good word about Welcome Home OC and, and homelessness for more of the people that we work with here in Orange County. Amanda, thank you. Your passion shows. And it's just uh, so wonderful to have you part of the team and to all the team that works on Welcome Home OC and United to End Homelessness. Thank you for everything you do to care. And now, all of you listening, you're part of that team. You are part of our world. You are ambassadors and we need your help. We need to spread this word. Orange County can do something extraordinary together by any homelessness. You heard the impact that Tim Shaw said at the beginning in terms of this influx of vouchers that we've never seen before. We know we can do this Orange County. We have the ability to bring this all together and help end homelessness for so many of our homeless neighbors. It's an extraordinary time. I think I've said that many, many times, but your help is critical, spread the word. So we're gonna make a big difference together. There's gonna be information, I think a link on your screen if you wanna learn more about how you can help. But again, share this. We need that the word to spread about this program. You've heard it, how important it is to folks who have experienced homelessness, you know, how important and how good business it is for the property owners. And you've heard from the county. We are all in this together. So let's do something. What's my word of the day? Extraordinary together, Orange County. Let's come together and end homelessness for a thousand of our homeless neighbors by mid next year. And to do that, we need properties now. So thank you for participating. Have a wonderful holiday. And again, just thank you for listening tonight and helping us spread the word. Um, my best and happy holidays.